Hi guys, welcome to Broadway TV. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day is a public holiday in Nigeria, which is observed every 15th of January to commemorate the servicemen of the Nigerian Armed Forces. Part of the activities outlined for every year Nigerian Armed Forces commemoration is the release of pigeons and that symbolizes peace. How it is done? The president or the governor of a state worked towards a cage full of birds. The president will open the cage and then pick a bird, release it in the air, and the bird finds its way. This has been the practice since it was inaugurated, but this year Armed Forces Remembrance Day looked unpleasant to people as birds refused to fly after being released from the cage. Yes, that, that, that's, that's the reason because they, they talk to themselves as well too so they can feel the atmosphere that the atmosphere is not conducive for them, it's very hot. So that, that, that's, what I, that's what I can say about it. Uh, what I will say about it is like, this is not the first time. We have been doing it even in the past years. And we have been seeing pigeon flying. When they lay hand, it will fly. So I don't know about this. I've been, I, monitor, I watch it. I, I don't see it. They force it to fly. So I don't know the problem. They should go back to their drawing board. They should go and think about the past. What is the problem? They should wait, compare it to now and tell us what is the problem. If the PG is not flying, that means he's not happy. Likewise, we as a human being in Nigeria, we are not happy. So the PG will not happy. Let's tell ourselves the, the truth. This action by the birds when the Nigerian president, retired General Muhammad Buhari, released them from the cage and they refused to fly as generated uproar in the social media space as many believe that it is a bad omen. Broadway TV crew asked the people on the streets about this and here is what they have to say. I feel it's a bad sign because it has never happened before. It has never happened before and the thing that made it even more funny was when the, the man running the commentary or the man talking was like, now they're trying to fly to show it's a good sign of like something that is good right now. So when he said those things and even when the birds didn't fly, it's obvious to be like, it's very obvious it's a bad sign. <laughs> And as you can see, things are really, really, things might be looking good right now, but things aren't really good actually. And we just hope, we just pray that the right energy comes back fast, because if not, things might go out of proportion very soon. That's what I say. Uh, the bird, I won't say the bird has it should have reasons to, not to fly, but that one, I won't actually say that's the reason. Though things are bad, yes, we have bad economy right now, the things are not going too well. But the bed not flying. I don't want to go too religious or obscene. So without saying that is the main reason why they didn't fly. They have, they can decide not to fly. I, I'm not saying that. But saying because of the government, that is why they didn't fly. I'm not going to say that. And depending what happened, uh, I feel well every single thing. Like we know birds are always for good signs and as well. So for them not flying, so you can see, they are seeing the future. You get, if you look at that kind of angle, at that aspect, you see in the future, and like, that's a bad omen, a bad sign, that things aren't going in place, all right? And it's something that we just have to like sit back and actually think about, because little things in life actually matters. And these are like signs and signals that we should actually take very serious and we should not take them for granted. So that's why I just sit. It's a big sign, because pigeon, as an animal, is a very sensitive uh, animal and people do buy them they put them in their houses based on the kind of um, the capacity and the 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 nature of the bird is a very good bird that you need to have in your house and when something is happening and uh, there is an adage that says uh, the pigeon doesn't eat with uh, with his owner and at the end of the end during the dead or whatever he now flee with pigeon will always stay with the owner that feeds him all the time. So there is a very big sign for us in Nigeria that we need to work on. The country is in jeopardy as well because a lot of people, are, a lot of innocent souls have died in the cause of the uh, uh, Buhari regime and all that. So things is not going fine. So I think the animal too, they can, they, they can feel it as well in their head too. There is something going on. There is something going wrong in Nigeria and uh, something is not right in Nigeria as well. So. Uh, 
awon eye na won wa bi awon eyan na ni because innocent blood to the shell ni yo po gan pe la won ese ta mo pa nse ta de tun se to fin da ilu iru to je pe most leader won mo pa e won mo pe ese ilu yi ti ko se le lo si waju itori eleye o se fu awon na mo sai won mo but ati so toro o se ni to be so nu Yes, simply Because this is Nigeria change, yeah, it's it's a signal. Yeah, it's a signal. According to you, you say it, it's a signal. Okay, because of the bed, it's a signal. But what can we do? Like individually now, what can we do? Because everything that we are saying, we are just talking. We are talking to ourselves. But as soon as this thing passes, this place goes up there. Nothing is being done. They feel they want to do everything by themselves. Now I read in the news last week, uh, yesterday, about this resumption of schools that wanted to extend it for three months while their own children and their own daughters are schooling abroad doing online lectures you are saying yes you are talking about COVID-19 and the rest you are also telling people to go to the NIMC office people are crowded over there and then you say you want to start doing coffee from 12 a.m. to 4, 4 a.m. which is also and disrupting a whole lot of business so I feel from the top there is there's a thing that once the uh, and there's an issue with the head then every other place, every other place is sick so I feel everything is up there, and we just have, I would say we should pray. Let us pray for Nigeria, because I really don't think advice can even work, because they're never hearing us. They are not hearing us. No, no, no politician is going to hear what we are saying. They just want to fill their own pockets with. Uh, my name is John. I really can't say anything about that, because um, in Nigeria, so many things are happening. And then um, I, I believe um, for the bit not to fly, it shows that Things are not going out well in our country, so we need to work and then try our possible best to work things out. It is not, not a good sign. Well, the thing is, this year will always be like every other year. Okay. My memory is be like that. It's, this year will be like every other year. If the same actions that we were taking last year and other years are still taking this year, then definitely this year will still be like every other year. And next year will be like every other year. Unless the necessary things are put in place. All right. If the governments are still taking the same steps they be taking every year and taking it this year, trust me, the message is keep on. We just be in the same position. We won't move. We just be just position. But if it's individually, yeah, we all we all have our own goals and then and then if I'm taking a different step, then I will move forward. But if you're taking generalizing, then the country will move forward. I'm sorry to say that if you're still taking the same old step. Nevertheless, too, um, no matter how someone does his own personal thing, too. If the environmental or the remaining factors aren't actually favorable, it tends to also frustrate the person's personal efforts too. So, as I said, generally speaking, the right thing is to be kept in place, and that's just the truth. That's just the same, like, same truth, that's all. Thank you. I think the Nigerian government should sit back and then um, think about the, what they should do, the possible thing they can do in order to bring um, a better government to all of us Nigerians. Yeah. Uh, everything starts from individuals, like even if we are complaining that, okay, we, we want good government, we ourselves from our own and respective places, from our place of work, there is corruption everywhere, and average Nigerian man is greedy. So if we can actually change ourselves from, from where we are, then when we actually get to that posi uh, position, we can actually do something. People like... Um, and Desmond Elliott and he was training last week and we say, okay, fine. He was a, he's, he's young. We are not saying he's old now. He is also a youth. Yeah. But see what he's doing also. 
So there are a whole lot of things. It has to uh, start with their individual mindset. I want to change myself. I want to change my community. There are a whole lot of people that people are hungry out there now. Uh, during the lockdown, there are a whole lot of people that had stores in their house that they, they fed so well. No one of them could come out and also give people that didn't eat. So it's not about the government only. It's about us. We as the community. So that's what I'll say. The truth is we should go back and look about the past. You know, that is not even an issue of PG. When human beings is not happy, so what you, every other thing will not happy. So let's tell ourselves the truth. People should go and sit down and see the way to destructure Nigeria, to make everything to go, to have peace in their mind. When human beings does not have peace, every other thing that follow, because pigeon was created from God, likewise a human being. So they have the same image, they have the same spirit. When they refuse to, to fly, that means something is wrong. So let them go and sort themselves. That's all.